Okay, that's way harder than it looks. It's fun. This right here is a Rock Island Armory Imports T-Pass or TPAS. It's a 12 gauge shotgun modeled after the Ithaca Model 37 trench gun version. Now there's a couple differences from the original actual trench gun from Ithaca uh, made in 1937. And then I think in 1941, Ithaca actually like trenchified their Model 37s kind of like this they gave them shorter barrels and they actually and they gave them the heat shield the one thing that this does not have that the old Ithaca 37 did have was kind of that bayonet handguard slash shroud over the barrel so obviously there's no bayonet lug on this guy that would make it too perfect so of course they couldn't do that you do have a little bit of a larger rubber butt pad over here which the original trench gun version did not now what's a little confusing with this guy even though this thing is literally called the t1897 from rock island armory it is not modeled after the winchester 1897 so um, it's a little confusing. It actually confused me quite a bit when I was doing some research before I made this video for you guys. Now this one is most similar to the Ithaca Model 37 that was produced in 1941 for World War II. Now yes, Ithaca did make a trench gun as well, but it's not the Winchester 1897 that you guys might be thinking of. Anyways, let's talk a little more about this thing. All right, so like I said, this is a Rock Island import and let's start right from the tip I roughed it up a little bit. I was doing some tricks and, you know, doing some one-handed pumps and stuff like that. And well, it dropped. Double up buck, as you can see. It's got those cool clear hulls. You can see those big old fat pellets in there. Not too bad. Let's load this bad boy up. dropped and landed in the ground face first. Anyways, barrel first. This holds five two and three quarter inch shells plus one in the chamber. So six rounds overall. If you load five, pump it and load one more. This heat shield is mounted right down here and then rides all the way back. Somewhat of a free float kind of look to it. And you do have a screw right over here. So of course, no, it's not technically free floating, but it's a heat shield and it's supposed to keep you from getting burnt. And I guess it works because it's I haven't gotten burnt today. Now birdshot is fun and all, but what's even more fun is this good stuff. This is S and B. This is double up buck. I love these little clear hulls. They just look cool. So let's do five rounds of buckshot and we could probably see a bit of a power difference. I've almost finished chopping down my tree. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm working on. I have no idea why I didn't show this to you guys, but the last 20 rounds of shot shells, I've been shooting this tree, because I don't really want it up anyways. So I've just been kind of shooting it till it comes down. Buckshot really got things started off pretty well. Let me load up some more.
This thing has a very standard action. It kind of pumps a lot like a Remington 870. So right here, you have a little release over here. When you fire it, it releases this pump so you could pump it back and forth, but it will not pump when it's actually locked and loaded. So what you have to do, if you wanna release that round that's inside the chamber, you take your finger right here, squeeze on this release right here, and then it releases and dumps it out. One thing you might notice too, there's no side ejection port over here. That's because the original did not have one. Everything gets loaded and ejected right through the bottom. The way it ejects out of the bottom, it's kind of fun to take this thing, kick it back. One thing I absolutely love about this guy is the bottom side ejection. If you notice on the side, like a standard pump action, like a Mossberg, Remington, something like that, usually you have uh, the ejection port is on the side right here on a righty. However, this guy, you load it through the bottom and it just ejects straight at the bottom. The thing is, this thing kicks those shells nice and far and that's fun. So I'm gonna shoot this target and see if I can't kick those shells and hit that target with the empty hull, because why not? Oh, way off. Way off. Ah. Nope. Okay, that's way harder than it looks, but yes, it's fun, because those things just kick out far. It's fun. So there's something about this, and maybe because it's modeled after the classic, this thing feels loose and in a good way. Now, this pump, I've fired plenty of shotguns. I've fired plenty of pump action shotguns. But you can see how light this pump is. It feels like it's an old, tired gun, but it's not, it's brand new. And that's a good thing. You know that feeling when you break something in, these old shotguns that just pump so easily? That's exactly what, how this thing performs. So obviously it sounds like I'm praising the gun, and I kind of am. However, there are some issues that I've experienced with this thing. Now before we continue with this video, I wanna say I purchased this thing at a local gun store, uh, paid full price for it, so I didn't get any special you know, gun tuber discounts or anything. Um, no, I just bought this thing because I really wanted to test it out. I saw this on the shelf and I'm like, dude, is that a trench gun for like 390 bucks? And sure enough, it was, and I really wanted to buy it. <laughs> so I did, paid full price for it. Okay, two things about it. First thing, uh, during the video, and I actually recorded it, so I'll play that clip for you in just a little bit. I was loading it up, pumped it, and then I fired the first round, and then went to pump it again, and I couldn't. I could not get this thing to release. This, this little button slash switch back here seemed to be kind of jammed downwards. So I could not get this thing to go. And that was just firing birdshot, nothing heavy, nothing stout. Um, I took a little wood block and I started tapping on this release button right here. And finally it, it came out and pumped back. Got it fixed. Include this, include this in the video. So I'm not sure what happened there. That was the only actual malfunction that I had with the firearm. It was a pretty bad jam. There's nothing I could do physically without getting something with some blunt force to, to release that. I'm sorry, there's, there's actually three things. The second thing is right here, and this is brand new from factory. This sling swivel right here was broken was broken right out of the packaging. Third thing, the heat shield screw right here is coming undone, which makes the heat shield kind of warped and canted. So I need to tighten that thing up. Not a big deal. This heat shield is made out of very thin metal, but it's supposed to be, it's a shield. So aside from that, trigger pull itself is nothing to write home about. I will say the more I shoot this thing, the lighter that trigger pull does feel. So it seems to be kind of breaking itself in, even though it feels broken in already. Um, and again, that pump is just one smooth, smooth pump, amazingly smooth. Even if you guys have the opportunity to get your hands on one at a gun store just to play with, just enjoy that pump a couple times and hopefully the guy behind the gun counter will understand. Purpose of this gun, now it's a reproduction. Being said, this one's a replica, but it looks pretty dang close to the original, to a T except this stock right here is just absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if you can, look how beautiful that stock is. 
So this is a Turkish gun, a Pintel Pahrump Daria Arms Turkey. So it's, it's Turkish import, no doubt. Nice thing about these Turkish import guns is they're cheap. And if you wanna get something kind of like this, it's novelty, it's fun to play with. Um, not to mention, I'll be completely frank with you, completely honest, this is actually a really good option for home defense. Now, some people just want that shotgun that's easy to operate, and that's exactly what this is. I mean, it's easy to, easy to rack back. It does not have any threading for a choke in there. It's just a smooth bore. Uh, it's just a smooth bore shotgun. So overall, that's it guys. This is the Rock Island Armory Imports 1897 trench gun. This thing's pretty dang cool. One of the best replicas I've seen. An absolute pleasure and blast to shoot. The bird shot's fun, the buck shot's fun. Everything's fun with this gun. Had the one issue and that's it. I haven't had an issue since. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later.